What's up guys and welcome to another video from Code Review. Today we will build a bank app where we going to reveal and hide the balance from the accounts using the gestures that provided by Flutter. Here uh, we will use only the double tap on longer press. So follow along and let's get started. Statement. Then we will bring the void main method where we launch the app and then we have the multi provider and this multi provider will come from the provider uh, package and here we will have the providers array and we ask for uh, to bring the change notifier provider and that's actually will create the method and then wrap it with the string provider this string provider the file that we created here we will go to it now and then we will have the child with my app so first we will bring the package foundation from the flutter and they will make a class with settings provider this will be with the mixing with change notifier and diagnostic tree mixing here we bring the selected refill and we instantiate it with a zero to indicate that the user has uh, uh, nothing chosen and then we will expose a couple uh, variables that indicate the user uh, the, the selected refill and then we will have the switch this is where the method where we inf uh, notify all the other uh, screens here we have also uh, another getter and this uh, is up to your choice but I saw it will be uh, handy if you have like on double tap on longer press otherwise it will be bring the um, empty string and if you want to debug then you will have something like uh, a function that can be called in debug for properties and then you put uh, anything in, in your integer property where you can log or you can you can have it in the debugger before creating my app, we will have a couple dummy data. So I will create. Uh, I created a class called account field where we have the ID, account number, balance, and group ID, and then we will have couple uh, dummy data that indicate uh, the the user accounts. So uh, to create uh, my app, we will uh, bring the class, uh, the state uh, stateless class for uh, my app, and then we will bring the build uh, widgets or the build method to, to build the widgets here the most important part i guess is that uh, we don't uh, yeah these are uh, dummy for now uh, most important is that we need the routes so i created the routes because we have uh, three routes for now the home page where we render the exact home page the settings and also the account with the account number where we uh, click on the account uh, specific account and go to the account detail. Uh, I will start up uh, first by the account detail uh, screen because this this is the most simplest one uh, because it's only a print whatever comes from the route. So uh, in the build method we bring the model route and we get the settings uh, argument where we have uh, the arguments as uh, the screen arguments and that screen arguments is a class that has been created here where we uh, have only the account field so in in every uh, account detail we send the account together with all the information that we have uh, already said here uh, which means that the id account number balance and group id to to the account detail and that's what uh, only thing and then uh, it will uh, print the account number as a title in the top bar and then it will print this uh, the the balance next currency in the in the center of the screen now in the setting in the setting screen we need a stateful green and that's why we created a stateful widgets here and then we wrap it with the uh, the class setting screen stateful and here we have our um, class where we render the widgets uh, first we bring the integer as a selected integer and we instantiate it as a zero this uh, is an internal state is not the same as a uh, is in the provider you can mix between them but then you need uh, some storage to lo to save the data so i use the the local state inside the the screen and then in the instantiation in the init state i will uh, bring 
the, the, the setting provider and then read the selected reveal, which is by default is also zero, as we discussed. Then when it comes to the build the widgets, uh, there is uh, nothing that much the, here. It's more about printing the values. So um, here I um, made a function or method called build section, where we have uh, the ability to send, uh, to have a, a, like a title of the group, and then also send an array as a second um, argument. And that will actually build every group or every section together. So this is in case of uh, you have like uh, multiple accounts for one group, then you have like this one will be grouped. So for example, this one, it will be the build uh, the container. And then we can say like, uh, yeah, anything here, set reveal password. Uh, the idea is that uh, we have like, uh, we have the, the array of tiles and then and this list tile is actually bring the the, the switchers where we enable and disable the, the so uh, this uh, so so the list, this list is tile it will take the the from the settings screen here so this is where we have the group uh, listed by uh, by every uh, title so we can have a settings for another uh, group here is only for reveal passwords or uh, reveal accounts. Uh, actually, it's not actually reveal passwords. It's uh, reveal the balance. And uh, here we have, um, so here we have the list tile where we have uh, the building for the switch. And then we bring the, the, the double tab or long press here. And most importantly is that we have the build the switch method uh, where we indicate which uh, item that needs to be selected so if i go to the build switch here first i will i need to indicate if the platform is mac os or ios that's in order to uh, print which type of switches because i actually don't like to see let's say material ui switches in, inside the iphone so i brought this one uh, to make a um, distinguish between the ios and also between android and whenever it's this one is an apple then we will uh, uh, print the cupertino switches otherwise the normal switch will be there most important part is that here whenever we have unchanged this will trigger and switched and that is switched will uh, take the boolean value if the callback will return uh, the boolean value and we check if the boolean value is true then we set this to the order which means that uh, the order of that we get from the build switches, otherwise we set it to zero. And here we also make sure that we notify uh, the provider uh, by calling the same, um, the selected index or the selected uh, switch. So, and that will make sure that if we selected one, the other one should be uh, by default disabled because it should, it should be only one to be uh, selected. That will, uh, that will be it. Then uh, we have the, uh, here we will make sure that the selected index, uh, index is equal to the order. Then we will uh, make sure that this one will be switched on or off. And that's for build the switches. And for build section, as I said, it's more about the title. And the title is actually the widget and then uh, and then the list of children is also a list type of widgets uh, i made this one to make it a bit more clear but it's uh, it could be also moved to the top it's there is not big deal the home screen we will have a state uh, stateful widgets also because we need the the reveal content state uh, here we will make a variable with reveal content. We instantiate to do the false, but inside of uh, init state, I will bring the context of the settings provider with the reveal enabled. If you remember, we talked about this, and that will actually uh, give us the ability to see if reveal uh, selected reveal is not equal to zero so in such a cases we put this reveal to so we take the negative value of this uh, field uh, when it comes to, to the build widgets here 
so we took the upper uh, upper here uh, it will have the where we have the settings and we click on the in the type of the actions here when we go to the uh, settings screen but the most importantly is that we inside the body inside the body we will wrap our whole body with a gesture detector so that depends on your implementation on your requirement but for my case I uh, wrapped the whole uh, widgets here with gesture detector and which means that if I click on anywhere or longer double click or longer press on anywhere that will uh, handle this uh, so uh, here we will define on longer press so if uh, we will bring the selected choice uh, as we discussed this selected choice it will uh, on the return of double tap which means that if one it will be double tap if two is longer press as we discussed here and that variable is actually uh, we will make sure that if the choice is longer press then we do the select state to reveal content otherwise we just return so it will not be uh, it will be ignored and that will be the same for double tap the only thing is that uh, we need to check for double tap here uh, and actually this one Th both these methods can be shorthanded as a separate method here outside of uh, the build uh, widgets now when uh, down when we have the child we will uh, actually bring the list view and then we will loop uh, or through all the fields from the accounts the dummy data that we have created in the top and then uh, we will bring the build account field uh, with that field now this is the most uh, yeah, important part in the app here is that when you uh, first we bring the is reveal enabled this is uh, from the setting provider and then we print uh, for uh, the column and then we say uh, for every element here the first thing that I need to print is that the group ID so I'll bring the field with the group ID where we say if this one is the current or the credit card or saving accounts and then we will have the element where we say it is uh, which type of uh, currency and then uh, we bring the list tile here the, this list tile will take the field with account number together with uh, yeah with the here with the with the icon but here uh, we will say in the right parts we will bring is reveal is enabled which means that it should be one or two then we will have a, another condition which is the inner state otherwise i don't want to bother the user uh, by this if he didn't select anything so this is the here he didn't select anything it will be by default uh, uh, it will be revealed so this is what we have seen here otherwise whenever it gets uh, revealed uh, and the, uh, the, yeah, the reveal uh, is enabled then we will have the inner state we will check uh, we will check to show or not which means that if i go to say if longer press and then we say here then i can longer press here and then hide it and show it then the rest is most uh, is um, uh, ui changes there is nothing that much uh, needs to be discussed here but uh, most importantly is that we cannot uh, have uh, double uh, on a press on the same element or double tap so I used list tile and it has a on tap but let's say that uh, if you have it in your settings if you enabled the on tap because in the settings you can put this one uh, and gesture uh, detector can also detect on tap but then the user will be uh, confused by clicking on this to go to the settings screen or clicking on this to reveal the actually the password or the balance so it's better not to use on tap uh, use the longer press or use what uh, whatever uh, yeah other gesture uh, that can be required or what the requirement of your for your side uh, discuss about this uh, about the account details if we click on the account we will go to the account details with the with a balance in the middle so uh, yeah i don't think that's uh, it's more simple that uh, you just need to send it via the arguments and then you send the field 
here are the arguments and then you retrieve this in the account details so a demonstration here i think we already did demonstration but i can do more so here we will have the built up and here we will have the longer press and double tab will not work um yeah i think that's it uh thank you guys and see you in the next time and don't forget to subscribe and share